Hi, I'm Elizabeth at the Radford Public Library with a quick book recommendation. And that book recommendation is for this discovery that I recently had of this amazing author and illustrator whose name is Sean Tan. He's written several books and gotten several awards, but somehow he's just not been on my radar. Uh, I just learned that he was an animator for this Disney movie, WALL-E which I had not seen somehow, uh, and I do plan to remedy that. But this author has written um, several other books, and not only does he write, but he draws the most amazing drawings. And this particular story is about what would happen if animals lived in the spaces that are normally reserved for human beings. And some of those spaces are pretty specific, like boardrooms and high rises and, um, it also kind of says a lot about bureaucracy and there are themes of depression and destruction. Uh, so I'm probably not selling this in terms of what to read that's of a happy note during the holiday season, but the pictures, the drawings are really glorious. The colors are amazing. Uh, I do wanna flip through and just show you a few pictures. Uh, and the stories are actually really good as well. Um, it's not just a matter of the pictures. Look at this uh, shark eating this city and these snails making out on a bridge. Um, and this, this very first story that I read, which I think is what captivated me, is about the human uh, bond with dogs, uh, which I am definitely a fan of as a story who's at my feet, but you can't see her. Uh, but the pictures are simply amazing. This is one of my favorites with the fox over the person dreaming in the bed. Um, the colors are shockingly beautiful and it really does um, seem otherworldly. The drawings are just fabulous. So um, when I read the, or not read, watched a, an interview with this author on YouTube, which I encourage you to do, because he can say so much better than I can about what he draws and why he draws it. But he did talk about how he doesn't really start with a theme and then draw pictures around it. Rather, the pictures come to him, he draws the pictures, and then the stories evolve from the pictures. And so this whole book is all these different creatures that um, end up in unexpected places. And in the very beginning in this book, you can see there are <clears throat> all these animals who will show up in these stories somewhere and the very first one like I said is about uh, oh that's not true the very first one is about crocodiles living on the 87th floor and the person who really knows about these crocodiles is the guy that cleans the window which I think is pretty clever he's got such an entertaining and brilliant mind this is a real joy to read. Look at this one. <laughs> Someone recommended this book, I think, for ages 12 and up. Um, I think it depends on your 12-year-old because some of the pictures are tougher than others. Look at this bear at the courthouse. How cool is that? Uh, so anyway, I said I was going to keep this short, um, but here's a book that I strongly recommend. If for no other reason, then you want to flip through and look at these amazing pictures of animals out of their typical spaces and exploring new and unusual spaces for them. What kind of commentary this might be about humans and nature. Um, I could probably read this again and pick up on so much more. This one about the pig really wasn't a story that I liked because it's so sad. Um, but some of them I really did enjoy. Here's a cat taking his or her people to, saf to safety. Uh, and some of his other books include Tales from Out of Suburbia. There's the cover of that one. Cicada, which I think has its own statement on bureaucracy. And Lost and Found. Cute. Um, that's a juvenile nonfiction, but the others have been teens. This is also a juvenile nonfiction, and it's called The Bird King, an Artist's Notebook. And this is not an artist or an author who has dogs, I learned in his interview, but he does have this gorgeous son, Conyer, that's like 18 years old, 
and it looks like maybe um, that was part of the inspiration perhaps for this one. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. I hope you're staying safe and well out there. This is just a suggestion of a book to read if you like uh, illustrations that are gorgeous and moving. And this author, Sean Tan, writes for juveniles and teens and could be something, someone you'd be interested in reading. Thanks so much for listening. Please take care and we'll see you soon at the Radford Public Library.